I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. Well, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another chapter of Adventura's journey from a commuter bus into a camper. This is chapter six, and it is there's more to meet than meets the eye, and that's a. Uh, I've got dirt on my face again because I'm just good at getting dirty. Um, this week it's really about a lot of hard work and um, I had to do a lot of hard work to get the air conditioning system out but that's part of what we're featuring this week as well as um, I was working on, my brother started the work on the railings, my brother came and helped me this week and my brother started working on the railings on the floor. Uh, we didn't get far with his, his what he was doing because we we had a lot of challenges in that I was trying to be under the bus while he was on the top and it wasn't working right and it came down to we had to basically um, I've had to grind out the uh, tops of the bolts and and basically drill through the floor and get them out so um, it's taken a lot of hard work to get that done and I finally have a system going to where I can in about 30 minutes time get it done and it's, it's uh, something that I call hewing, uh, which is hewing is hard emotional work. And sometimes we have things going on in our life that uh, is tough on us. And I've had a little bit of that in my life lately. Um, but you know what? If you do the hard emotional work, you'll get better. And that's the same thing with, with Adventura. It's taken me some time. Hewing is like carving out wood like when you do a canoe, uh, the Indians used to make the can canoes out of wood and they would carve the tree out and that was called hewing. And so it takes hard work sometimes to get something done. And that's what transformation looks like. It, it's a little bit of hard work. So I ask you to uh, take some time and see what look, a little hard work looks like. And I hope you enjoy the what we have featured this week. Let's well, my, my first project here is the actual doing of the lap ceiling and I am working on trying to repair the roof and I'm putting lap seal on the seams and you'll see me actually put some of the lap seal down and then you'll kind of see me come back over it in a circular motion because that's what I was in my research of getting that done that's what a lot of people showed how the proper way to get the lap seal on was to put a layer of lap seal down and then move in a circular motion to make sure that it all gets in a nice even layer. And so that's what I'm working there to do and um, covering over the seam that has uh, issues on it. So that's what I was uh, working on. This is, I think, the first time I put lap seal on the ceiling and um, it was really hot, hot, hot up there. And um, it took a lot of hard work to get this done, but I got about... 90% of the ceiling sealed and I'm very very happy with most of this uh, the um, roof uh, repairs but there's still some challenges and you'll see that in the next video that comes up is that I still have some small spots that are leaking and I am probably gonna have to go over them with Eternative on tape and seal them up better because there's still some areas that are getting leaks inside. We had a couple of heavy rains and that helped me see where the leaks are still the issue. So um, I know this isn't the best video as far as angle wise right now, but you'll get a little close up view here in the second right now. And so you see, I just put a layer of that down and then I'll kind of smooth it out with the tip of the caulking gun. And then that kind of levels itself and gets good. Okay, so I uh, put a little lap sealant on some of these seams. Uh, it's a big improvement over what was here. There was a lot of cracks on this side especially. Um, there's still some cracks over there, but I, I've run out of what I did have a lap sealant. This is for, as far as I was get, able to get with four tubes. I do have a turnabon tape, but this has to cure for several time, uh, hours. Uh, I think uh, like 72 hours before I can put anything over it. So I'm going to let this kind of set. I'm going to see if I can get some more lap seal. So I can continue to work on these seams here and get these seams sealed up. Um, this is a definite marked improvement over what was here. There was a lot of cracks right along the seam here and uh, it's much, much better now. Uh, hopefully we've sealed up some of the major leaks and I'm going to get over to the other side and work on the other side hopefully. 
tomorrow or the next day. Okay, but I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big crack right there. And that's really what our problem is. I'm going to work on this seam here. I'm going to start from that point there and work my way down and then work my way this way. So uh, I'm going to start with the worst part and then work my way out from there and uh, see if I can get this whole seam here sealed up. The front part that I did the other day is holding up quite well and, and it's not leaking as much as it was. But it's really not leaking at all anymore. And that lap sealant has really uh, uh, settled in and sealed itself. Okay, so uh, here's what it looks like to have one seam completely slap sealed. And I'm hoping that that will seal up. this whole section over here, this whole side almost, is almost completely done. Um, I have one little section over there on the roof up there that has to be finished. But this whole side, the right side of the vehicle, is pretty well there. I might go over and touch up some of the lap seal that I did over there a little bit because it looks like it's settled in a bit and I want to get it sealed a little bit better. But uh, it's looking really good and I'm really, really happy with the results. So I've made a good progress. Uh, I got this whole seam done and this was probably the worst seam of all and right up here where it was cracked before. So I'm going to lay in some more lap seal on that section too because it was cracked so badly and uh, give a little bit more of a surface of that. And then I'll be done for today right now. I'm gonna wait till this evening to finish the episode. Hey y'all, um, I'm out here in the van right now. And as you can hear, it's raining. It's raining pretty hard. And I wanted to come out here and see how the uh, ceiling is holding up to the rain. I'm looking for wet spots. And this is actually oil stains here from when I took out the air conditioning. But right now, I'm seeing some dry floors. And that really makes me happy. But over here we had like a waterfall pouring out of the out of the ceiling. And I put that lap seal on the ceiling and it looks like it's holding up quite well. Uh, I did not finish the back seam here, so I might get some leakage on this back seam. And I have a few spots in the front that I have not finished. But I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is the most rain I've had in a, a few days, and this is really going to enable me to test out and see whether or not my lap seal is holding up. I think it's doing the job. Uh, I don't see any major leaks, and that's half the battle right here. We, we do have this whole wall here is completely uh, wire wheel. It's not completely 100% um, uh, painted down all the way, but it is definitely sealed up and ready to go. And I've already started working on these seams here to get the rust off of here. I'm just gonna start from the back and work forward. And then we gotta tear out these walls here and this wall on this side. And then we're gonna be really getting down to the bones of this system. So, looking good. Pretty happy with it. Okay, so as y'all can see, today it is very wet outside, so I'm going to go inside the van and see how she fared last night. It rained a lot last night, so and we got lots of fog this morning. And uh, so far, from what I can tell, there's only one small spot right here that's wet. And I, n I noticed that last night, and this is part of the seam that I did not finish. So that's a good thing right there. Because all over here, where it was leaking really badly, uh, it looks a little wet over here, so we got we got more work to do over here. Looks like it was leaking pretty bad over here, so we still got more work to do on this seam here. It still has issues, so we got some more work to do right here because this is still leaking. And uh, eventually, I'm going to put the turn bomb tape up there, so that should seal it out even more. But I'm going to have to get up there and check, see what it looks like. Looks like it's dry over here, or drier. And it has been so I don't know we're still working on the roof trying to get her sealed up um, but yeah making progress okay so there is a little more that meets the eye this is me and I am running around uh, mowing the lawn 
and I do that because I run an Airbnb on the property and so that's part of more that meets the eye and then in the next clip you will see me working on some other extracurricular projects which is some furniture refinishing that I do so um, I have a little bit of everything that I do in these uh, times sometimes I'm working on the van sometimes I'm working on furniture projects um, this particular table I'd had for a long time and I was working on it so for right a garage here, sale. That you can see me now working on the van again. I was working on some flooring stuff and cleaning up uh, the area in the back of the van there where the flooring was still on there and I'm also working on securing up some of the uh, loose cables and, and uh, tubing from the AC system. So that's what I was working on there. Okay, so in this clip here, you're going to see the beginning of me removing the AC system from the back. I was able to get somebody to drain the coolant out, so now I'm actually working to get the, the uh, hoses disconnected. The first hose came off very easily and with very little work, but the second hose was just not coming off. I tried several different ways to get it off, and I went from, you know, wrenches to pliers to vice grips and nothing seemed to work and I was just really wrestling with it and that's what you see me doing is going through my tool bag to find out which tool would work best to try and get this uh, hose off and there's the pipe wrenches first and I tried that or I tried a regular wrench then I tried a pipe wrench and now I'm resorting to a vice grip and even with the vice grip you can see me struggling and um, even though I had the vice grip on, you could see that it'll actually break loose and start uh, bending the actual uh, connections. So they had some kind of glue or Loctite on it. But uh, I finally give up on that endeavor when I saw it bending. So I didn't want to break it apart. I just wanted to um, get it loose. So I tried my rotary tool or my uh, vibrating tool, uh, my uh, uh, the oscillating cutter. That didn't work because it was rubber. And so I break down and get down into one, my tool bag and find my drywall saw, which is really a kind of a raw tooth saw. And it really cut through that rubber the best. And that was really my best device for getting the, through those rubber hoses. And because it had been drained to the Freon, I was, it was safe to do. But uh, I still wore um, breathing protection and stuff like that. So um, I finally did get that out, and then you'll see in the next clips uh, us actually taking out the system. Okay, in this next segment, I will be working on taking out first the condenser unit. I'm actually doing the preliminary work to disconnect the condenser unit. Uh, once again, I'm dealing and wrestling with uh, cutting hoses apart and getting them off, and I went back to my old reliable drywall saw, and that just chopped those hoses right off. And then I work on disconnecting the hoses all the way across. And um, it was really a struggle to be under that bus and deal with the dirt and the um, tight, confined spaces. And it hurt my neck a lot to be under there, but we got it done. And then my brother joins me shortly, and we will actually um, be taking down the actual unit itself. And it took us a minute because they have these long bolts on there, and we ended up I ended up using the grinder to cut off the bolts shorter so that we could get a socket on it and then we took the unit out and it came out pretty smoothly. Then you'll see my brother working on trying to get the floor things uh, undone. I was also working on the outside to get the old condenser unit out. He was trying to get it out and um, it wasn't working real well for him. Um, he was using the drill first and uh, it was just taken a long time to get through just one bolt but that was the best way to get them out we tried to unscrew them a bit but the heads on the screws were stripped so he resorted to drilling and um, later on uh, you'll see me uh, in the next clip here you'll see me actually doing what I ended up having to do which is I had to grind them down first and then I would drill out the whole remaining part of the screw actually got two of the strips up. It took me about 30 minutes per strip once I had a system going. Hey y'all, I just wanted to tell you I went to the scrapyard today and I got some cash. I got $64 worth of cash for turning in the metal that I had. Uh, two, uh, uh, two of the cores from the condenser and the air conditioning unit 
Uh, those pulled in more cash than the actual seats did, but I got $64. I got $54 the last time I came and $64 this time. So that's $180 or $118. So that's pretty good. And that's a, a, that helped pay for my tags and it's gonna pay for some gas today. So I'm gonna go over and fuel her up at the grocery store just down the road here. I don't know what the rest of the day holds. I helped my brother uh, fix some steps on his shed this morning because I had the right tools for it. He didn't. It's not that he can't fix it. It's just he, he didn't have all the right tools. So we worked together and we got the job done. And I'm going to head back home and probably work a little on the bus. It's hot and humid today, so I don't know how much I'm going to do. Blessings. Have a great day. Thank you all for taking time to stop by. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Y'all come back now. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago.